you get struck by lightning while sitting on the toilet? 100%, and here's how. Thunderstorms are composed of weather, drums, and lightning. Meteorologists say the odds of getting struck by lightning are roughly 0.00014%. But are you really gonna trust meteorologists? They think a sun wears glasses. Joining me today is Professor of Lightning and amateur flautist, Caleb City. I love what you've done with the place. Thank you, finally someone has noticed. Let's say you're sitting on a toilet and it's a beauty, stainless steel. It's shiny, it's sleek, and non-stick, which is important because you have an anal rectal malformation. Happens to one in every 5,000 anuses and causes you to take sprinkler-like dumps that only splatter on the sides of the bowl, never down in the hole, which is why you've invested in a steel toilet. Easy cleanup. What you didn't think about is the fact that steel is an excellent conductor of electricity. So when lightning inevitably strikes your house, the electricity passes through the metal pipes right into your steel toilet. Dump, flush, zap. You just got struck by lightning while sitting on the toilet. Let's say you don't have the money for a steel toilet. Spent it all on getting your anus unmalformed. So you went for the budget porcelain toilet, which is great because porcelain is not a conductor of electricity. But sodium is, and your piss is full of it. You just went to dinner at a seafood restaurant, got the shrimp cocktail. It's Boga shrimp night, so you have 12 servings. Only problem is the shrimp they served you wasn't fresh, it was frozen. Most restaurants lie about their seafood. The tuna is full of mercury and the calamari is actually pig anus, 100% confirmed. And your serving of frozen shrimp contains 4,800 milligrams of sodium, 210% of the recommended daily intake. You finally get home after being stuck in bumper to bumper traffic. Everyone's trying to get home before the storm hit. You rush to your bathroom, sit down, most men do, it's fine, you have nothing to prove. You're a king on your porcelain throne. You don't even hear the storm over your geyser of salty piss. Lightning strikes your house, sending electricity through the pipes and into the sodium rich urine currently connected to your penis. Your willy just got zapped while sitting on the toilet. Let's say you never use indoor toilets. Instead, you use outhouses. Spend your life on the road from outhouse to outhouse. You join a band of merry travelers, adopt their culture and way of life. You start wearing scarves, bangles, get the tip of your penis pierced. One night during a storm, you rush to pee in a wooden outhouse. You're safe, wood does not conduct electricity, but it does warp in response to temperature and rain, which means the wooden hasp no longer fits into the wooden loop, making it impossible to latch your outhouse door. The wind swings it wide open while your mid piss pants at your ankles, metal ring dangling from the tip of your dongle. You're a pissing, sitting duck, and your undercarriage just got scorched from sitting on the toilet. Let's say you're done with bathrooms. You're not taking any chances. From now on, you go to the bathroom in jars and keep it in the fridge. And you move to California. No thunderstorms. You become the talk of the town. Everyone wants to meet the man who refuses to poop in the toilet, including movie producers. They swarm your house, tell you they'll pay you millions for your life story, and you sign away all your rights. They keep their promises and make you a millionaire. But now, you're so famous, you can't leave your house. You develop a drinking habit. Spend all your days drinking Moscow mules out of authentic copper mugs. One night, you're outside on your balcony. You decide to take a dump in your copper mug. You have tons of them of all different sizes, and this one is huge. You squat just as an earthquake erupts. It is California. And what the realtor didn't tell you is earthquakes also produce lightning. They're called quake lights, which is why your wankel just got singed, because you used your copper mug as a toilet. Let's say you're done being above ground. It's too dangerous. At any point, you could be struck by lightning. You move into a bunker deep underground. You put up wall to wall shag carpeting for warmth and a retro 70s vibe. You get a roommate. Maintaining a life underground is safe, but lonely. You put an ad online. A lady responds who's been looking to live underground because spiders keep laying eggs under her skin. As you're changing, she sees your lightning scar. Happens to about 10% of people who get struck by lightning. They're called Lichtenbergs after physicist and German roast comic Christoph Lichtenberg. She runs her fingers over it, says it's beautiful, that you're beautiful. You fall in love. You spend your days having meaningful conversations and your nights making passionate woohoo. You both reach climax simultaneously. Your sexual chemistry is electric, as is your current body chemistry, because you're covered in static electricity from the friction created from the hours your bodies have spent rubbing against the carpet. Nice. As you sit on your metal toilet, you can't cover everything in carpet, the negative electrons sitting on your skin rush to the positive electrons on the metal conductor, creating a flash of heat and light. Now, you're the lightning bolt, and you just struck yourself while sitting on the toilet. So yes, 
you can get struck by lightning while sitting on the toilet. It's just a matter of when and how. I'm Natasha Vainblatt. And I'm Caleb City. And your worst fear has been confirmed. Have you ever been electrocuted? Metaphorically, yes. You? No. And I'm a professor of lightning. Hey, it's Caleb City, and it's Caleb City Week at Comedy Central. If you want to see more videos, check out some right here. And here. Yeah. You want to click those? I appreciate it. Also, thanks for the views. And if you're from my channel, leave some comments congratulating me, because I'm doing big things. Aren't I? Look at me.